Hello, hello everyone, this is Maser, and we're doing a Shogun 2 Bolt of Samurai multiplayer battle. There we go. So, pick my army. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually done this. Uh, both played Shogun, recorded Shogun, and released the video. So, well, all of those have reasons. Well, basically life getting in the, in the way of things, as it has a tendency to do. So, I'm gonna deal with uh, some personal stuff. And yeah, that that's about it. So I haven't really been uh, feeling like making any videos. Anyway, we're done with that. So we can now focus on the games. Okay. That's a lot of red bears, okay. I'll actually go on and, well, I was going to take a revolver cab, but that make that will leave me with just 700 koku, which is of course okay. I can pick a um, a black tortoise force, but I still have this lying around. I'll guess we'll go for a white bear then. There we go. Very familiar army. Might be a tad bit boring as well, but hey, deal with it. Okay, got the revolver cam. Hopefully, we can make a bit of a mess of our enemy. I love how this is still sitting saying new, even though all the samurai has been out for close to one and a half years. Well, one and like five months, four months, one year and four months, I think. Yeah, it came, came out in like March of 2012, so I do believe that's semi-correct. I'm not bothering doing any math right now, or basic counting. Anyway, my point is, I think the, these tags should maybe be like Fall of the Samurai, Thoughts or something, just abbreviate it a bit. So, how hang? Yeah. How do you hang? So, we got the familiar retainers. You can see the flogging officer and the bandit horse thieves. Got Yari, we got Imperial Guard, Imperial Guard, Toshus, Imperial Guard, and Toshus. And yeah, Shogun's Guard Cavalry, which my, um, my cavalry, my revolver cavalry, uh, will be able to rip through. Go. There we go. Well, not you. You're actually on the front front line. There we go. We have three units in reserve. That should be sufficient. And all of you are on guard mode, that's good. And I guess we'll have our general guard mode as well. And we have um, lots and lots of cavalry. So, I think this is a suspicious low amount of units, so there's certainly something fishy going on here. So, he might have some Yukitai or something. Is it, it is Yukitai, right? I think so. Shows you how much I played recently. Yeah, basically the unit which can, which can hide anywhere. Anyway, I'm, I'm certain he has some hidden units. Or these are just massively upgraded and yeah there's no reason for that not when I have relatively cheap units that can blast into bits and some more expensive units that can also blast into bits well it's pushing up all the way here So 
get another unit on each flank. Or maybe just one. Now we'll go for both. So, Toshas. They have 150 range, they don't have extra range. These guys, same goes for them. 125, 125. So they don't have range upgrades. That was unexpected. I have stretched my line a bit thin here. And leave myself open to potential cavalry attack. So he's hiding his Toshas over there. Okay, that's fine by me. I can march around here. There we go. He wants to take some shots off. And I will let him, but I will push up at the same time. Might be getting a volley off if I'm lucky. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we go. That's good shots. So I will actually win this fight if I keep on pushing. Um, well, if it hadn't been for this hidden Tosha right here. Anyway, push up the... Uh, that's the Black Torches. Yeah. So he might be charged by this Yariki. But I doubt that. I don't think he has... Not from what I'm, I've seen anyway. I don't think he has any more Tosha. Over on this flank. He might have... But I have a good cavalry force ready to meet him, if that is the case. There we go, Toshas. Of course, I'm, my cavalry has an uphill charge if it uh, were to come to battle. That's of course, that's of course not good, not good at all. But this move, this is uh, interesting. OMG. Didn't you see that? Wow. <laughs> Seriously? <sighs> well, this is really annoying. Because that was a really lackluster battle, and... I don't really have time to do another one. I might... Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'm, I'll go and take an old replay and show you that. And, of course, it would, will be a bit lackluster as well, be, just because I'm playing it for the first time, because, as I said, I really don't have much time for this. Uh, but, anyway, uh, Royal Marines got a lot of kills, yada yada yada, his Total Ruffman got a few kills, and that's that. Yeah, you can see, it was, it was very much an over-upgraded army, and, yeah, I would have absolutely masked him. It, if the battle had gone on for any longer, but what we can do, can do, of course, as I said, we can take a look at the replay, and uh, let's see, well, the new one are actually up here, Shamefur, another one of those, ONG Cap, uh, what was this about, I just, the problem is I can't remember, um, oh yeah, I remember, but uh, it's a bit boring of a battle. I might show this later, this OMG Cav. Uh, oh, I actually played against him once before. Oh, that's interesting. Let's watch this and see what the, what happens, because I don't remember this. Well, I will, of course, remember the battle, but I didn't, didn't remember actually playing against this guy. So I might I might speed this up for a few parts, but yeah, I won't be uh, repeat myself too many times and repeating that I don't have too much time. Anyway, onto the battle. Forest Gully was the map. So okay, my enemy. Ah, oh, yeah, probably. Oh yeah, it's this battle. I remember this. Um, yeah, he has arm guns. And he has uh, Bokechi. He has Yarikachi. Yarikachi. All of those are well upgraded. 
and the armstrong guns are a, a tad bit upgraded as well. He has United States Marines, he has his general, which is a gunpowder. Yeah, gunpowder general. He has red bears, and he does have uh, some cavalry, at least. But that's what we can see for now. This is really familiar. You can see two units of Yarki, my general's bodyguard, red bear, showing the guard, white bear, red bear, United States Marines, and two units of Yarki. So we can just speed this up a bit because Your general is under my job here is basically to advance because of course he has his Armstrong guns and if I sit back I will take massive losses. I do take massive losses for his Armstrong guns but it would have been much severer if I hadn't pushed up like this. So I go on here and I capture this shrine, I jump off and I, I don't I haven't captured this, this workshop, I think the shrine was a bit more important, but I'm flanking him around with this Yariki and pressuring, pressuring him that way. I have my United States Marines and Shogunuts and the White Bear, which are on the front rank. I've heard that that was a good idea to have the best units over on the front rank, and it's better to have them at the start of a um, gunpowder fight as opposed to just bringing them in to try to salvage, salvage the situation. But of course these guys are getting pumped a bit. So it, it is at this point, um, well, soon anyway. I go for some, so, some sort of charge. No, of course, he sends a general after me, which um, I, I think I pull back just because he has these units right here and I wasn't entirely sure on the range. And he has, yeah, he has 125 range, and I know he did see me, so I can I couldn't click a charge order right here. That that would have meant the destruction of my cavalry due to his infantry and marine being in a being in, in a good position. So he's chasing me, and and he's getting out of the range of the marines, and he's giving up. So I'm still pushing up. That's basically that. Am I making the move? I think I think I will soon. Ah, so yeah, over on this flank, my two units of Biariki. Which has actually yeah, this is the damage caused by the by the artillery. I should specify that. That was actually done right here at the start of the battle, you can see. And that's my general's horses, and my general is hiding back here. I don't want him to be killed. He has uh, certainly an influence even this far back. Just purely from being a morale gen. So I'm, I'm out flanking with the red bear, at least trying to. And I had to push up, and I pushed into his United States Marines. I'm still out of range with the Shogun's Guard. But I'm pushing up with the with my United States, and I think I get some shots off. So I start to tear into them, and that's really good because so far that's the only thing I have going. So here I start outflanking with the cavalry, and as you can see, he has the Yari catchy right there. So it's not the best spot to try to do something. But I actually I go for charge on his red bears eventually and I try to maneuver my Yariki around and I actually do believe I reach his arm from guns and might not it might not have been this unit but I think I think it's this unit that actually routed his cannons yeah you can see that so I'm routing back at the infantry marine the fresh one so it won't break completely but yeah, at least really damaged I charge the red bears and um, and you can see there, I'm slowing it down a bit because this is going quite fast. So the Yarikashi was right behind it, so that was a bit dumb. So I'm trying to pull it away and go for the bow catch instead. My other unit of Yariki, which has routed the Armstrong guns right here, they are going in and attacking the United States Marines. You can see right here, right there, my United States Marines are running away, but my Red Bears are now well in range and do are going to get good shots off before my enemy gets a chance to rearrange. So at this point it's, it's uh, still quite um, 
it's still quite an even battle. I'm trying to pull out the Arky, and I'm doing... Well, with that move, I'm, I might not be doing a particularly smart move, but still. Yeah, so I think I was going for the Bokachi right there. Anyway, I think we can um, bring it back to full speed, at least for the time being. I have one unit remaining of Yariki, and I, I might go for his general. I think I do. Anyway, I'm still getting a good shot off with this red bear. Yeah, I'm going for the general. And these guys aren't aren't prepared yet, and I'm getting loads of damage done. So now I'll take my my uh, my cavalry. I think I go for his red bears. You can see it right there. His general is over there, and I uh, I had my general um, joining the battle. So the generals are now duking it out, and I'm trying to support with my white bears. And I do believe I get some shots off. I think I kill him. I'm not entirely sure. Meanwhile, my cavalry is actually doing quite well. My red bears are actually losing this fight until these guys deliver a classic hammer and anvil charge. All of you who have, who have played Rom Total War online and Rom Total War in general, I guess, should be should certainly be familiar familiar with this. Meanwhile, here I have routed the, the uh, inventory the marine of my enemy, and yeah, we can slow it down a bit again. So his Yarikachi is now running away, and I have 62 red bears left. And these guys were heading for my red bears, or maybe my cavalry, but in the direction of my red bears. And then instead, uh, well, I don't know why, but they're, they're going for my white bears. Yeah, a bit weird. Meanwhile, my red bears are now trying to flank. They have 100 kills, 99 kills, and I still have my cavalry, which has 87 kills. So all of these units have a decent amount of kills. So, Yarkechi, actually reaching white bears, but of course, they are getting fired upon by my red bears, which they weren't actually charging at. Which I decided not to charge at, I should say. So, I have my Yarki, and eventually, if if the match don't end first, nope. Uh, I'll eventually go down here, and, and I think charge into the packs with red bears. So you can see here, it's Yorikachi, it's getting demoralized because it, it, it's really spread out. You can see it's re actually reaching my general right there, but it's still taking quite a few losses from the shots I'm firing at it. These guys are close to routing, and they're this unit, this United States Marine, just shattered. And this unit also shattered before the cavalry actually reached them. And all that is left is this Yarikachi, and it will follow suit. So, that's how the last battle went, and it was certainly <laughs> much more closer than today's battle. That's for, that's for sure. So, we'll just fast forward through this, and we'll take a look at the results. So, there we go. I deployed a thousand men, he deployed 900, I, I lost 700 mine. And I killed uh, 670 of his men. So we can take a look at the statistics. You can see Red Bears, the outflanking ones, I do believe, had a lot of kills. But it's just that every unit, except for the Showing the Guard, which were kind of the sacrificial unit right there, you just got mauled by every all and everything. Uh, but besides them, um, all of my units got over 40 kills. Which uh, might not be too good when your unit size is uh, 150 when it comes to the line infantry, but you can see just a number of kills divided among these guys, and um, yeah, that kind of got me the victory and lot of lots of outflanking. You can see the AR key right there being responsible for 117 kills, and that's a lot to say the least. His Armstrong guns, you can see, it took a lot of my men out, including most of my strong the Guardian Tree and a lot of my United States Marines. But still not love enough. United States Marines and Imperial Marine take a lot of casualties. And yeah, that's that. So certainly a closer battle than the one I just played, but I really have to go now. So I'll hope you enjoy this and as always I will see you guys next time. Hopefully 
it wouldn't be too much of a pause between this one and the next one as it was between this one and the previous one. But I'll see you guys next time once again. Bye.